What is up guys? McDouble's back again with a brand new video and today I've got the Shadow Hunter for you with a brand new building concept. Guys, this got good. So I hope you guys are ready and I hope you guys enjoy. Let's jump right in. Okay, guys, it's a brand new day and we're in Tenaris. I picked up the Tremor Totem off camera as well as the Battle Shout. Nothing amazing, but not terrible either. We're going to run around Tenaris now, completing some quests. Maybe we'll find some people to fight. But the next real milestone is level 50, where we pull the Black Arrow. And the Black Arrow is the whole point of this build, right? So I'm very excited to get there. Ooh, oh no, that's somebody flying. So apparently an epic battle occurred here on the sands of Tenaris between this guy, Maharos, and this guy, piss water. God damn it, man. What about this guy? Scalp a bank. These are people, by the way, that they died and they rage quit and logged off and never logged back into the character and they didn't delete the character. So to me, that is absolutely hilarious on every level. It's a testament to how ragey the game can make you when you die in high risk, right? And also imagine being the guy that knows that you killed that person and they just rage quit and never logged on ever again. Like in some messed up way that has to be satisfying to some degree. There we go, level 45. So I'm doing some BGs real quick. Why not? It's pretty fast XP and I just happen to get lucky and be put on a team where, well, we're already winning. So even though my build's not the best at low levels in PvP, we're still going to be able to level up pretty fast, I think. Remember, the goal is level 50. We just got to get there as quick as we can for Black Arrow. And even then, the build doesn't actually begin until level 60. So the idea is going to be to do some heroics and stuff like that to try to uh, truly test out the Shadow Hunter. We don't even have mental quickness, so we're not getting any hybrid benefits right now. So so my spells are just weak. All right, just helping our ally right here. And now the whole cavalry just came in. One thing I do love about this build is the concussive shot. There is nothing that feels better than actually making a difference with your team. And that's what concussive shot does, right? He's trying to kill me. He didn't kill me. Nice. And we have a healer. Thanks to Amog. This is going to be a good BG, guys. In terms of levels, it's going to be a good BG. I haven't seen a fear on the enemy team or a charm, so there hasn't been any need for the tremor totem I just got yet. All right, concussive shot on this guy. We're just so useful. Even though my damage is not through the roof yet, because we're lacking some very, very key talents that we just cannot get yet. We can still get the concussive shot off like on this res guy. There we go. And now he's not going anywhere. He's still somehow so fast. Look at the mind blast damage. 292 no crit i need desperately need the mental quickness to boost that up it's gonna double the fact of the matter is if i go full intellect i can utilize things like this mind flay that i picked up and thought eh, i'll never use this right because i'm agi based and i can still get a lot of value out of things like the explosive shot because of this one enchant called secrets of the far striders which gives me what looks to be 7.5 percent bonus spell power as damage with the explosive shot if that makes sense i didn't say it perfect but i think you guys know what i mean it's gonna scale off sp now it's something that usually wouldn't have what do i have starfire Fire. Oh god, it's all so bad. Why? It's like I leave you guys hanging. You're like, yeah, he's gonna click it. He's gonna get something good, right? It's like, no, no, not just bad, but like actually the worst. Oh god. Okay. So yeah, I'm actually really pondering a full SP intellect based, possibly spirit based, but probably not intellect based with spirit on my gear uh shadow hunter build where we basically just utilize the black arrow as a basically a debuff right and the explosive shot as just filler otherwise i'd be basically playing shadow priest with the mind blast the shadow word pain and the mind flay of course i would really like to get devouring plague and Vampiring Touch wouldn't be too bad either. But this might work. In fact, we might not even need some of those things because the Explosive Shot and the Black Arrow might be good enough with the uh, SP version of the build. We'll have to test it, but again, this isn't something I can really do until max. I am excited though. There's a lot of different ways we could play this. I might convert to Intellect early just to see how it works at level 50. Yeah, I think that might actually be the way to go in hindsight because this damage is not going to cut it. And I don't want to be an Explosive Shot build. That's something I got comments about. People will like, are you honestly a Shadow Hunter build if you're playing Explosive Shot 70% of the time like this one guy? And I'm like, you know what? In all honesty, great point. Like, am I? Because the whole point of this is to play a theme everybody is doing an explosive shot build i know other content creators because i watched the rain man have done explosive shot builds so i don't want to just do an explosive shot build i want to do a shadow hunter and I, yeah i think that's going to require me to go full intellect after this guys so level 50 that's what i would expect i just died i just died so my ally could live you owe me fresh slime you owe me <laughs> he gave me a heart yes honestly that made me feel like i did the most i've done this entire bg <laughs> How weak I am, man. Saving that one dude's life 
was more useful to my team because he's a level 50 and this guy is good at the game okay <laughs> this guy hasn't died yet so that was the whole point i saved him from getting his first death of the game yeah that was worth it sometimes you have to uh set your ego aside and play for the greater good and just know when someone's better than you at that moment it doesn't matter man i want to win and if i'm gonna win fresh lime has to carry it's that simple all right we're on this guy protecting our fc he's gonna freaking los man that's the worst part about being ranged there's good parts and there's also shit parts and being los is a shit part melee doesn't worry about being los <laughs> they worry about losing others yeah okay so we're still trying to kill huntard come on die yes die die to the dot please oh yeah smooth 90k xp that's one of the reasons i wanted that you get way more xp if you solo kill and that's what i'm talking about too obviously bgs you don't go in there going for the solo kills we all know it's going to be a big old cluster look like this right now <laughs> just randos all attacking random people but the fact of the matter is they benefit you or they reward you rather if you kill somebody solo and i think that's sick design nice i thought i was gonna die i thought i was gonna die and i got saved by some completely badass individual i think it was this wolf guy so thank you gg to that guy this res guy i know he wants me to die i know he looks for the low health targets as he should and he destroys them i've watched it happen more than once and look at me i'm definitely a low health target all right this guy's dead oh no hey, he's dead yeah see only 6k i want more nice good heal man a mog oh and maybe it was a mog again thank you to you man sick healer 14k i think you also get less if they're lower leveled so that, that could be part of it as well I'm just gonna put the immolation trap on for some inevitable melee charge hamstring <laughs> like that's just what you have to do and me and this guy will just fight on my trap. It's all good. Ta -da. Concussive. See, there he is. He just went for the wrong guy. Well, technically, he went for the right guy from his point of view. But from my point of view, the wrong guy. But I told you, man. This time, it was a giant chicken. Just ready to go. God, life tap is freaking good on mana intensive classes. Like, this is a lesson that I've learned. I, I knew life tap was good, but life tap did get nerfed for a bit. But it's still freaking great. Like, once upon a time, Life Tap on Ascension actually had a cooldown. And it, it felt fine, but to some people, it felt terrible. It was, like, balanced for hybrids or something like that, but absolutely dumpster bad for, like, people that actually want it and need it. Like, an actual caster. Nice. 48, guys. Let's see what we get in the middle of this fight. Shadow Burn. Okay, let's go with that. Hey, it's instant shadow damage, right? That's definitely going to play into what we're trying to do. It does allow me to get a demon, but as some of you guys said in the comments, a demon would actually make a lot of sense if it doesn't take away from Lone Wolf. Although, even if it does, let's be real, the demon still makes sense. I'm a shadow hunter. Hunters stereotypically have pets in World of Warcraft, even if they didn't in Warcraft 3. But hey, you don't see me summoning serpent wards either or hexing people because I simply can't do that in WoW. So there has to be some creative liberty, so to speak. Get off me, chicken boy! Just some creative liberty, right? When you're trying to recreate like a Warcraft 3 Shadow Hunter hero. But anyway, I'm, I've been looking for my Shadow Burn this whole time. It's right there. Although the battle shout's worse. And the Immolation Trap is worse too, by the way. If we go Intellect, I think it's a necessary evil. Those are probably two Hunter and two little Shadow Hunter, if that makes sense. Oh, I don't want to leave this guy to die. It's just wrong. No one likes... Oh, he's dead. I mean, I'll hand a freedom him, but he's getting spam healed. I put the Tremor down. I don't think anybody even has anything worthy of me using Tremor for. Damn it. I'm dying with him. I'm not going to be a coward. I'll rend everybody before I die. There we go. Get rend. Get rended. <laughs> me and my team died as one. The tentacles are just winning for me, by the way. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but like sometimes I'm not even in the fight and my tentacles just carry on. I wonder if they actually count as my total. Oh, okay. I'm actually up there. My damage is garbage though, but I'm up there. I'll take it. And level 49, guys. That's nice. Oh my God. They got the one minute cap. Huntard lol got it. Wow. And they were losing the whole time. We just weren't paying attention. It doesn't matter that much, but Jesus, GG, dude. He's just spamming in chat. <laughs> Look, the adrenaline's going. He just won the entire game for his team. I understand. Okay. And here we go, guys. I am level 50. Black Arrow. Could have got Howl of Terror, which would have been not bad. Hemorrhage. But yeah, Black Arrow all day, every day. This is it, guys. 
this is when we go full intellect i'm gonna go ahead and change my primary stat to intellect you can see my mana is 4500 now my sp is 124 but i'm only level 50 i did go ahead and buy some gear that is intellect and uh spirit based i'm just hovering over it now you can go ahead and get a look of it uh, except for this necklace here everything is basically what i want i even picked up the zumra's vexing cane and a really cool bow which is hurricane giving me a chance to strike my target with frost arrow for 31 to 45 frost damage i don't know if that scales with sp but if it does that makes us even stronger because we're still going for those auto shots guys we're still a hunter it's just we're putting less damage into auto shot and steady shot right now and more into shadow word pain mind blast and possibly even the mind flay so let me go ahead and remake my talent spec and i'll see you guys in a moment okay so this is the spec i came up with first of all you can't use mental dexterity because there is a ranged ap equivalent and this only works with melee attack power in the marksman hunter tree you can grab something called careful aim this increases my ranged attack power by an amount equal to this is really strong a hundred percent of my intellect so in my case, as you can see, with 272 intellect, I'm going to be increasing my ranged AP by 272. So that gives us a little bit of damage. In the survival tree, I got 30% more damage with Black Arrow, because that is the whole point of the build. Essentially, we're going to use this random enchant, Shadow Arrow, plus the 8% damage that we already get for using Black Arrow to increase all of our shadow damage by 16%. That's pretty freaking strong. 16% just for using the black arrow. But most of our points went into the shadow priest tree. I took darkness to proc mind blasts. I took improved mind blast to reduce all healing done to my target by 40%. We got some extra shadow word pain damage and a reduction in the mana cost. Shadow weaving, which makes it to where my shadow word pain and my mind flay and my mind blast will increase all shadow damage ideal, not ability damage or spell damage rather, but just damage in general. So it affects the black arrow by 2% up to 10%. I get got mind melt to make mind blast and mind flay have a four percent increased crit chance and it actually increases the crit of shadow word pain by six percent and then lastly shadow power just to increase that critical strike damage with mind blast and mind flay by a hundred percent that's going to be the bulk of our damage when we get those crits off Okay, I'm on my way to Felcom my stuff, so if I die, I'm just going to give them gold instead of actually giving them my items. Main reason is I just picked up this really sick new mask, the Bad Mojo mask, and I made it my new transmog. This is the quintessential Shadow Hunter piece of gear. I'm really glad that I remembered to get it when I was looking at the auction house. So yeah, that's pretty sick, guys. If you guys don't know what Felcom is, by the way, to anybody that might be new to Ascension, basically, if, let's just say you're in Orgrimmar, so your Horde, uh, the equivalent for this is going to be in the Mage Quarter, where the Warlock Trainer is. You're going to go to the Cleft of Shadow, though, if you're Horde, right? So, uh, Orgrimmar, Cleft of Shadow right here what you want to do when you get here is come all the way down here to this green altar and this little thing is the same thing that the alliance will have in the warlock trainer area as well you click it and all you need to do now is commune every single slot of gear it used to be that you had to pick certain slots but now you can commune everything now once you do this when you die if you can afford to pay for the item and there's a set price for all of them then you will just drop gold as you can see it going up on the top here 11 gold maximum lost off death so you'll drop gold like i said instead of dropping the item itself so if you're a little iffy on high risk because you don't want to lose the items you have on all you have to do is commune your stuff and don't go into high risk unless you have some gold and now i'm going to hearthstone back to gadgets and I will say I also took some pretty cool stuff in the arcane tree. I picked up student of the mind to increase my spirit by 15% and make it to where my spell damage is increased by 15% of my spirit. That should work really interestingly with that legendary random enchant that I'm using right now, which also works off my spirit. And then I got some more intellect, some more damage, and then 9% uh, of my total intellect converted to spell damage. So we're kind of double dipping with both the intellect and the spirit, and it's pretty freaking good. Oh yeah, and I just picked up the Dark Arrow random enchant. This makes it where my ranged auto attacks have a 10% chance to summon a skeletal guardian if that target dies. This also kind of makes us like the Dark Ranger from Warcraft 3, so it's kind of a combination of both, right? Hey, that's pretty sick though. I like the idea of summoning a skeletal guardian. There we go, guys! We got it! Second try! mindless skeleton so now we're summoning a skeletal guardian and we're summoning tentacles man that's pretty cool i really really like that aesthetic wait i can healing wave in shadow form no 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 i just had a buff on that made me look like i was in shadow form pretty good guys i think i might do more bgs it's gonna be really fast leveling and we can really test the build all right guys we're in maybe on this crozier guy first wow this guy <laughs> i think this guy's actually level 60 so that's uh 
terrifying there you go black arrow into the shadow word pain concussive shot let's go for the mind blast shadow burn okay the damage is actually not bad it's not bad at all wow it's actually pretty good 12k xp for that let's just dot everybody i need to get some random chance that lower the cooldown of black arrow i can get it down to i think 18 seconds which honestly is pretty good there we go dots proccing immolation trap down get that black arrow up now I'm going to go for the Mind Blast, Shadow Burn, get the dots back up. Okay, this Felix guy tried to get on me, Mind Blast, and the Shadow Burn as well. Damage is pretty freaking good. There we go, he's going to die to the Mind Oh, he's already dead. Got to get Gadrick. He's trying to break into the back lines. It's not working, dude. It's not working. And I can just life tap. And it's all thematic too. It's honestly the best part. Okay, he Divine Shielded. Lucky. Lucky. Nice roll. Really nice roll, bro. All right, concussive shot on Felix. Hopefully he freaking dies. And I see this guy getting healed, so let's throw out a Mind Blast. Yeah, that really helped. There we go. Right, Felix is trying to, like, get on the sidelines here and not get caught. But I found you, and you're not getting away. That guy has Divine Shield, too. Are you kidding? God, I love the concussive shot. It's so OP with six seconds. There we go. Level 51. It is actually broken with a six-second slow, guys. It seriously is. All right, dotting everybody. Black arrow on this guy. Oh, he's already dead. Mind blast. Shadow word pain. This Blandro guy is going to die too. Imagine with the explosive shot to filler instead of the steady. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be nice. I have 10% more shadow damage right now from shadow weaving. This is actually the time to put my dots up, right? Definitely. Oh, this guy has the heals. Let's go for the mind blast. Oh my god, the judgment thing is so freaking good. Just doesn't count as a slow. Mind Blast Gadrick. Damn, he got healed in time. Oh, we just got him right before we died. What do you guys think? This is doing a lot better. I mean, just imagine me getting rid of Steady Shot for Explosive Shot. Or if we pull the Devouring Plague or something as well. And we're just going to be pumping massive damage, guys. Especially when we lower that cooldown for Black Arrow. Right now, I'm in third for damage. And I'm only level 51. That's the big thing, too. The people in front of me have a level advantage. Oh, we got healed and two cats win on me two oh my god mind blast felix just gotta keep it cool i'm gonna pop my troll racial and try to heal okay i can't they interrupted me get the black arrow up on gadrick as well shadow burn on this guy going for the mind blast we're pushing him back that is a great sign i have hand of freedom on my ally over there let's mind blast this rinser guy we're just cleaning him up 52 guys let's see what we get so <gasps> Holy shit. Oh my god, and that's like putting a hex on your target. That's kind of what that feels like. Oh my god, reduces target's movement speed by 40%, increases their time between ranged attacks by 60%, and casting by- That's broken. Casting by 30%, man, that's broken. I have never rolled slow, by the way. In all my time of playing Ascension, I've never once rolled slow. <laughs> that is good. Four second cooldown, not spammable, but hey, that might as well be spammable. Kind of a high mana cost, but we just went in. Jesus, wow. And you can keep it up permanently. It lasts 15 seconds, or let's see, is it like that on players? 10 seconds on that dude's imp. The craziest thing about it really is the range. Like, concussive shot is good, but slow, slow is incredible. What is he gonna do once he gets slowed? Nothing. Nothing, dude. But really, what's the point of concussive shot? We can maybe look to get rid of it maybe we don't need the double slow oh my god i just put slow on people and they're done they're out of the game they literally can't play anymore it's absurd i'm not kidding watch foss watch he has slow on him what are you gonna do okay sure sure be the guy that has a uh, hand of freedom yeah hey but hey look there we go concussive shot and then i can slow this guy so i can slow more than one person that's the utility really we're on crozier now this is a level 60 and he is running from me. Slow Felix. Concussive shot. That guy, I'm running. No, Jesus. They have so many high levels on their team. It's definitely an upward battle right now. We're still third for damage, but we're really close. And the utility with the slow and the concussive shot. Look at that. We are dominating. I feel good, guys. To be this low level and doing this good, I feel so just... Yeah, positive vibes. All right, slow this guy. Black arrow. Let's pop that troll racial. Things are increased by my haste. So that's helping my dots... There we go. Destroyed. Concussive shot on that guy. Slow on that caster back there. Oh, yeah. Don't mind if I do. Look, I can just keep slowing him. Healer, get slowed. Get slowed. Concussive shot and get... S oh, my God. You freak... No! He has the hand of freedom. I'm just going to dot him before I die. Yeah, I, I just got my dots up before I died. That's fine. 
You know, I did just realize the skeleton is basically never going to pop in PvP. That's fine, I think. We're not going to use that RE, like, long term. I just thought it was cool. The uh, skeleton proccing one, the dark arrow. We have better ones to use later down the line. All right, black arrow. And just dotting everybody. Let's put a slow on this wrath caster back here. And concussive shot that Gadrick guy. I'm basically just trying to have as much utility as I can. I'm going to slow Gadrick. I don't like him. He's always on me. He's always ready to go. Look at him. He's just going so slow. Oh, that has to suck, dude. Slow on this Rinzer guy. Look, now you can't cast. Oh, I got healed. I was going to go for my own heal. Let's go for the Mind Blast before you inevitably die. And the Black Arrow. I got them both off. Take it. You're going to die, Rinzer. Oh my god, I missed the spawn. Don't you hate when that happens? All because I had the shit talk and I was just doing it to myself in my room. That's the worst part. <laughs> that is the worst part. So I just realized the Black Arrow itself only gives 8% increased damage to Hunter ability. So this is only going to affect the Black Arrow and the Explosive Shot. That's fine. But we are still getting an 8% flat shadow damage increase as well from it. A little less potent in that regard. A little less OP. But I still think it's very, very good. All right. Slow on this Rinzer person. Mind Blast as well. Yeah, the damage is good. Slowing on that Boomy. My god, look at all the dots on me. I'm going to put a Tremor Totem back here. I, you just never know what people have. Slow on that guy too. I'm just putting slow on literally everybody. It has to be the most annoying thing. God, we have so much utility. Slow on this guy now. I'm never going to stop. <laughs> just slow everybody. And we'll slow that caster and go on this Sarood guy. I don't like Scorch builds, man. They're so good. Look, I mean, just instantly takes you out. Popping my racial. All right, I gained a level and uh, saved by the bell. I'm going to die here though. Oh, <laughs> I got my dots up before I died. I'll take that. Yeah, GG, dude. Yeah, I hate Scorch builds, man. They just look at you, and then you get auto impact stunned, like, instantly, and then you lose half your health. And you're like, oh, I thought you were about to die, and this should be a free kill. It's like, nope. <laughs> nope. No, it was all an illusion, like this guy. So if we slow him, though, that is a hard counter. Like, what is he really going to do? I mean, he can break it with travel form, but then I have the concussive blow or shots. We can sprint. Go for the mind blast. Yeah, no impact that time. And I have the cavalry. Exactly. All right, that guy's slowed. Everybody's dots. You get a shadow word pain. You get a shadow word pain. Everybody gets a shadow word pain. You are a caster. You get a slow. You're a melee in the back. You get a concussive shot. And you... Get the black arrow, my friend. I love slow. It's broken. These guys must be so upset. Every time they get on me, I just slow them. You're a dude in the back. Doesn't really matter. Oh, I miss slow. <laughs> the ultimate counter to slow is slow itself. There we go. Slowing that Sarud guy again. Don't like the fire build. Wait, must have a range. What? Oh yeah, he disarmed me. Okay, I was like, wait, what? Nice. He's dead. There we go. 54. Oh, vampiric touch. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is going to get good, guys. Just put slow on the caster and you can't play the game anymore. As long as you don't get that stun proc. I think I can kill this guy now. Obviously, I have the team putting damage into him as well, which is nice. Oh, my God. Slow is the most broken thing in the world. I mean, it's rare and it's epic. But still, if you're a caster, Jesus. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, that mega heal, dude. Nice. I got double dots up on the guy in there. Slow on this guy. Damn. We're up there now, though, boys. Still third in damage. I really do think I could beat those guys. All right, we have the Vampiric Touch on our bars now. Black Arrow and Vampiric Touch. Oh, my God. This dude on this Crozier guy in the back. Just double dot him. Level 60 right here. Double dot. Oh, got to get the slow up on this Sarood guy. Just ruin his whole day. <laughs> oh, they're all on me. They know. They're all on me. They know, man. Second place damage this time, though. Still have dots rolling, which is nice. This level 60 bullying a 54 in the bg right now you should leave at 60 dude it's not even close to fair vampiric touch going back around the tree going for the uh, heal get my dots he has slow on him this is crazy he actually needs help to win right now this dude's gonna lose and the cavalry just came in to save him let it be known that this level 60 with 1500 more hp lost to me in a 1v1 and needed help let it be known okay because that's, that's just awesome. This build is so strong already. That's crazy. The dot damage, the kiting, the multi-slows. I mean, we still need a major damage cooldown, but if nobody can ever touch me, it doesn't matter. The only thing we're worried about are melee pumpers. That's it. Range people, it's not that deep. I'm actually going to slow this guy. Crozier, we have all dots on him. And the Mind Blast, he can't do anything. There we go, guys. BG's over. Nobody won. Came in second. I'll take it. Okay, guys, I have nine hands of fate, four from level 40, five from level 50. Let's go ahead and just use them now and see if we can get some better rolls. All right, first one. Uh, you know, nothing good, actually. Chain heal, I kind of want just because it matches the theme. Because healing wave actually was basically chain heal in Warcraft 3. But I can't really get rid of any of this. 
I mean, I could get rid of Raptor Strike. I don't really need it. Screw it. I'm going to play for a theme right now. Am I really ever going to use Chain Heal? No. <laughs> no, I'm not. But that's fine because we match the theme now. All right, eight more to go. Holy Wrath, Crusader Strike, Shadow Bolt. Could be good if we get Corruption, even though I didn't want to go that way. You know, I'm going to get rid of Tremor Totem because I just think I can do better. It's that simple. Death Coil, for example, would be nice to get, and that's an epic. So we'll get rid of the Tremor, and if we get Corruption, Shadow Bolt becomes a hell of a lot better, right? We can proc the instant ones with Nightfall. All right, now we have higher chances to get epics. Hemorrhage, Repose, Searing Pain is not, uh, just not good. Not what I want. Arcane Shot, there we go. That might be it right there. Well, we don't really need it because we have the Explosive Shot coming. Explosive Shot replaces Arcane Shot in many ways with this rotation. Because Black Arrow is going to proc even more Explosive Shots in the Survival Hunter tree when I take Lock and Load. 100% chance when I trap a target. Or a 10% chance when I use my Immolation Trap or Black Arrow to make my next two Explosive Shots trigger no cooldown, cost no mana, and consume no ammo. Yeah. That's pretty good. So yeah, I don't even need the arcane shot. Rebirth, Searing Pain, Holy Fire. Maybe the Rebirth. Oh yeah, I'll take it over Picklock. Could be useful for my team. There it is, Shamanistic Rage, Bloodthirst, Water Breathing. Reduces all damage taken and gives my melee attacks a chance to regenerate mana. So actually it's not that good. You know, there was an iteration of Shamanistic Rage once that was like a 30% damage reduction and that's it. With, well, it still had the extra effect, but you know what I mean. It's been nerfed, so we won't be taking it. It's a hybrid thing. Scorch, Hemorrhage, Arcane Missiles. Nope, that's bad. Flame Strike, Fireball, Sunder Armor. All really bad. Last one, guys. Wow, literally nothing. Literally nothing. But we have high chances to get stuff. I mean, we got the Rebirth there. That's nothing to cry home about. We got the Chain Heal which is just thematic at best. I do kind of like that. That's pretty cute. All right, five more levels to go, though. Making pretty good progress, going pretty fast. Cannot wait to try this build at 60. Guys, I'm stupid. I said I could reduce the cooldown of Black Arrow to 18 seconds, but that was only with random enchants. I can literally get the talent for it, too. That's 10 more seconds. So with that, my Black Arrow has a 20-second cooldown. I can do 12 more seconds with random enchants, putting it at an 8-second cooldown. Okay, I'm currently in what could possibly be the very last battleground before we hit level 60. I'm ready, guys. Are you guys ready? Because this is about to be sick. If we can win this, man, if we can pull ahead, and it looks like we might be able to, just looking at their team, they're all kind of mid-level and low-level, which is the same as me, and that's what makes me feel good because that means I can carry. So if it happens, straight to 60, look at this dude. He is in it, but he doesn't expect the slow. Why would you, to be completely honest? I wouldn't. Now you're super dotted. It's like what I like to call somebody who has that many dots on them. I don't even have to, I don't have to keep fighting him. He's dead. Look, he's coming back. Fartbox is coming back. I just noticed his name. I hate my life. <laughs> Why am I playing with people named Fartbox, man? How are we the same human race? Okay, I mean, my names are often not as good either. <laughs> so it is what it is. Honestly, out of everybody in this BG, I think Fartbox is the only one that I want to be friends with. Based on his name alone. Because you know he's a fun person. By default. Or he's a complete troll. You just never know. Yeah, he is going for me hard. And he has his team. Which is the worst part, by the way. Yeah, we died. Everyone on my team died. And then it was just me versus everyone else. I am in first though <laughs> if that counts for anything with zero one wait isn't this the guy that was like laughing in chat earlier when he capped at the last second i'm gonna destroy this guy okay black arrow concussive shot watch him like get out of it oh yeah he's dead are you kidding the blink the freaking blink dude you can't beat me even with full mana you're so annoying concussive shot let's get our dots up slow oh my god what the hell let me jump over this are you kidding he just jumped over it I'm pretty sure. Oh my god. Every time he gets lucky. Wow, look at that black arrow damage. It's taking for 200 no crit. Are we understanding how much that is? That's against a player. That's against a player, and I have no PvP power, basically. Wow, this guy has, like, the best abilities ever for flag capping. That's how he got it. Travel form and blink. Like, he's weak as hell. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about if he's there. But you'll never catch him. I'm trying my best right now, and... 
I mean, maybe he'll die. He won't die. The dot damage is real, though. Okay, I think he's gonna die, finally. Yeah, we chased him all over the map. All over the map. Double dot. They're gonna get Howl of Terror, but I'm not. Did he blink, too? So everybody and their mother has blink but me, right? Double Howl of Terror. Nice. Maybe he got interrupted the first time? He just healed straight into a Mind Blast, by the way. That had hit him prior. That sucks, but he had no choice, by the way. I get that. There's nothing he could do with three people on him, but still, it's just the principle, man. Yeah, our damage is great. It's me and two other guys that are just way above the rest of the pack. Unfortunately, the other two guys are on the enemy team. It's this guy again. All right, Black Arrow. I'm gonna go for all of my dots. Yeah, he's dead this time. Good try. Level 57, guys. Nice. That's great. Oh, shit. Here they come. Black Arrow on that girl. Sneaky Salami. Going for all the dots. I especially don't want Fartbox to have fun. <laughs> so I'm gonna freaking uh, put the slow on him. Oh, he's so dead. It's freaking Sneaky Salami. You're truly sneaky, dude. Where did you even come from? No offense, but like, I don't have to worry about you. <laughs> like, you're, you're dead, dude. But how are you alive, Fartbox? You know just as well as me, it makes no sense that you're still alive. All right, you're dead now. Jesus, there's a healer right here. That's part of it. There we go. Slow on that healer. I'm gonna go for the Mind Blast. There we go. That was the... Oh, wait. I didn't get it off? Oh, no. It reset. I missed that time. Yeah, she's dead. Wow. Wow. That's so good. Look at the damage. We are above the pack this time, boys. Wow. Although we are losing because I'm the only one on my team <laughs> that has like any damage right now, it seems. I mean, literally. All right. Concussive shot. We got the slow on this girl now. Oh, yeah. Good charge, dude. I didn't have her. Good charge. She was going to be right out of range. I can still steady shot if we're on the move. Like, I have something to use when we're moving, and that's nice. So it's not completely bad, although way less good, admittedly. All right, and we're not being a Locust Ranger. Okay, let's go on this Huntard guy. Look at him go so freaking fast. Look, he just slipped past everybody. We're pissed. Even me. I have so many slows. All right, Mind Blast. He's dead. Nice. Good job, guys. One thing I love about being a ranged class, specifically a caster, though, is you have so much mana that suddenly you're kind of a pseudo healer, right? Like, I can heal myself so uh, freely with no fears just because I have so much mana. Something I really can't do on Lorik, my main, because he's a melee and has so little mana. All right, let's just dot everybody, right? Mind Blast on that guy. Don't want Fartbox to have fun once again. All right, there is nothing we could do there they came out of nowhere just like completely packing heat <laughs> there's literally nothing that could be done all right i at least dotted as many people as i could before i died yeah it, that just felt like i was by myself there with the guy that had the flag all right fart box slowed once again crazy guy back there on me concussive shot on you just so you have a little bit less fun <laughs> like that's how i look at it man <laughs> like i'll just slow you i'll just oh ooh, we have heals i'll just cc the heck out of you and then you'll you won't touch me again because you want to have fun you're sick of it all right concussive shot on this person and we're just dotting i actually missed the black arrow there from what i can see that's bad slow and and concussive shot up we slowed the sneaky salami and super dotted her too all right another slow on fart box no fun for you my friend any other name and you could have fun right now but you chose fart box so now you get none who was this guy with the trents i thought we had a healer shit i was only being cocky because i thought we had a healer i'm gonna die yep i'm dead i just ran around like a chicken with his head cut off just died it's just me right now <laughs> it's just me, dude. Me, and I also got two other guys that are kind of catching up on my team. Kind of goes in shocks, man. But that's it. It, 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 it's a big gap. It's a big gap. I'll be happy if I get to 58 by the end of this, though, to be completely real with you. It doesn't really matter too much to me if we win or lose right now. They also have the ultimate flag carrier in Huntard LOL, so <laughs> it's like GG. All right, that guy's definitely dead. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. He's just gonna die. Freaking fart box, man. The bane of my existence and everything that I think is good and holy in the world. All right, you're dead. All right, sneaky salami, the truly sneaky salami. All right, you're dead. I just shouldn't have black arrowed there. It's not gonna matter as much when I get that cooldown low. I cannot wait to have an eight second black arrow. <laughs> nice. I fully dotted them, and then everybody on my team suddenly had balls. So we all went in, man. I am going to black arrow this guy. Slow him. That's for my team. Vampiric touch. Mind blast. And I will just steady shot, I guess, to stay up on him. Steady shot's not that bad. It just, it could be better. Actually, it's even better now that we have slow. It's getting that perma extra damage. 58, by the way. Um, you know, drain life is actually not that far out of the wheelhouse, but it also kind of is. I'm just going to go with the drain life. Nah, eh, we have the mind flay. I'm going to go with the smite. It's a weird one, I know. There are some weird ways we could use it, though, like getting an instant smite that does a lot of extra damage. Let's go for the dots on this Omni guy. Another one. Break his concussive with the sprint there. Vampiric touch, mind blast, and he has the black arrow. Oh, he tricked me! Normally, I trick people. That oh, shoot, mind blast. He has reduced uh, healing now. Normally, I- Oh! 
He's still alive! You're dead now! <laughs> you are dead now. He somehow dropped the flag. He must have had divine shield and just like refused to go out normal. Chain heal? I'm useful. Hey, right, look, my skelly guardian! You procced! Oh, you're gone. All right, we're in here trying to defend the flag carrier. Getting ready to pick everything up. Wait, why are you going that way? All right, mind blast. Nice. Concussive shot. Slow, sneaky salami. Kind of have a bone to pick with this guy because he's the other hunter. And he's a completely different version of me. Or I'm a completely different version of him. Let's put it that way and be fair. All right, dead. Sneaky's time. Sneaky's time to die. Out of mana, no problem. Slow on that guy. This is so OP. This is so good and so OP. I am a BG hero with this build. No! What? Nobody... How'd he, how'd he die? The reason I wasn't up there and I didn't take my own advice to spam click the flag is because we had three people. Three people. And I just put the video out that told you guys, click the flag and be ready to click the flag. I'm dead. I couldn't mount. Yeah, they're about to get a cap. And I'm gonna die here. I'm just gonna like dot one other guy. Okay, I died. How am I doing though? Somebody has last hit more people than me, but I'm in first for damage by a big metric. So in other words, number two and number three are as far away from the rest of the pack as I am to them. So that tells you something in terms of power level right now. It's definitely not my fault that we're losing, okay? That's all I'm saying, man. That's all I'm saying. 425 ranged attack power when we're completely intellect based is actually kind of good. It's probably only two or 300 off what a guy in full agi has at my level and with my kind of gear. That's really not that different. It's different. It's significant. Like 20 levels different, but still we're also pumping with magic, right? And they can't. And with the dots especially i'm going for the fc their efc i should say reason being is i'm probably the only one that can solo this guy anyway and the rest of my team oh they're following me in they understand they all know that everything's up to me i like that new word by the way i'm like all the cool cats all the young kids saying pumping look i distracted them they could have cap mind blast here vampir oh vampiric touch too oh Come on, die! Oh my god, there's just too many of them getting heals. Look, he has two healers and himself. And I'm just <laughs> and I'm just putting as much damage into all of them as I can. Alright, slow on Omnivoid. And again, I'm multi-dotting. I'm putting as much pressure as a person could put on somebody right now. I'm literally doing my little heart's content. I died. I died, but the guy with the flag is gonna get away. Yeah. GG. They had way too many healers. Like, that's part of it. Hopefully, Berserker buff is right here. It is. It's all me. Sneaky Salami. What are you doing? I guess I'm not going to make it. They know, and they're going for me. Best I can do is dot people before I inevitably die. Wait, I lived. I actually lived. I was able to spam heals and live. Dead. Level 59 off that one, too. That was smooth. Honestly, if we win this, I think that means I level. So this is very important. All right, dotting. I'm dotting everybody. Going for the mind blast. This time, the black arrow is on the main guy. He might die. He might actually die. This is it. Die. Oh, yes. Yes. Turn it in. Oh, they picked it up. And it was the super speedy guy that picked it up. No. Anyone, anything but that guy. It's not BS, Omnivoid. You got CC'd. I pumped a bunch of damage. I literally am just like on my last limb right now. I'm still in combat. Okay, I'm not now. Oh my freaking God. We just lost the flag, dude. We just lost our flag. We had it, man. All because of me and that one other guy. And it went to nothing. All right, guys. It's all up to me once again. I have Sprint and Hand of Freedom, but that's it. It's my nemesis, Fartbox, who has the flag on the enemy team. Oh my god. Me versus Editor. He can't beat me. He's so dead. It's not even funny how dead this guy is. It really isn't. And he's a chain lightning build, which is slightly embarrassing. I'm gonna let you die to dot. I'm gonna get behind you. I didn't even slow you. That's the worst part. You can't healing touch when I have mind blast healing reductions, dude. GG, thanks for the skelly, by the way. You can follow me now, my little skelly guardian. Ooh, I'll put a dot on that guy before I go. I put a bunch of dots on that guy, and now I'm just running. The idea is that hopefully my team will kill him. Damn it! All right, I still got the 60, and there's the explosive shot, guys. First place? way ahead of the pack too that's a good sign i mean i am way way ahead of the pack here and thank you man thank you and that's it guys the corruption i'm re-rolling right now at 60 and we got the corruption we also got the unstable affliction so this is pretty interesting to say the very least yeah we could just take out astral recall for that so now i have shadow bolt as well with the corruption and the shadow word pain now i could put two points in the nightfall making corruption give me a chance to proc an instant free shadow bolt 
that's pretty good. We're going to be shooting out Shadow Bolts, going for the Mind Blast, the Black Arrow for that 16% damage increase for both Black Arrow and Explosive Shots, otherwise an 8% increase for everything else. I mean, I feel like I have, and this was my fear, I feel like I have too many things almost to do. So this is freaking crazy. We are just chock full of damage right now. <gasps> Devouring Plague. Holy crap. Yeah, we're a true daughter and I could just get rid of smite. Wow. Do you think we've gone too far guys? <laughs> Do you think we've gone too far? I don't know. Okay, let's keep rolling. I'm just trying to get my bars ready. Definitely don't want any of that. Five more to go. We're basically already good. Maybe the conjure water. Ah uh, yeah, for the conjure food. Nature's grasp. I don't actually want that. I can do a lot better. I'm surprised I haven't got more epics offered to me that were actually good disengage yes i want it please let me have it okay i don't actually need the immolation trap there's an enchant that increases black arrow damage if i have immolation trap up on my target but i have way too many things to do at this point we're gonna get rid of that disengage is so freaking good and hey it's a hunter ability so we're a shadow hunter with the disengage with the sprint with all the dots the explosive shot oh my god all of the curses man let's keep going let's keep going two more all right, I don't want this. Innervate. Yes. I'll take it over rebirth. Wow, that's massive. Causes the target to generate mana equal to 150% of the casting druid's base mana pool. And we're intellect based. That's amazing. All right, what do you think of the build now, guys? The true shadow hunter dot heavy bad mojo mask on, right? All the really cool stuff. The disengage. God, I can't wait. Let's just, just go ahead and start testing it. All right, guys, it's time to do our 1v1 daily. We can really test the build out. We have no gear, so I'm not expecting to win all of these, but we can just take a look at how it does it all. You know, I've got a lot of ways to kite people. So unless I get one shot by a melee, we might be able to kite them into infinity. I have really no setup, just the battle shouts. Let's get into it. Melee. Ooh, no gear, just like me. There we go, we won. They didn't do anything. I guess they're just trying to get 10 losses. All right, guys, we have another one. Let's see how we do. What I've noticed so far is if they have more gear, I can't win. If it's equal gear, I do win. Let's see if I'm right with this guy. All right, just applying dots. I could put slow on him. That's a huge one. Black arrow now. Mind blast for the heals. Corruption. Explosive shots. What is he going to do? Think about it. What is he going to do? It's still reduced. I probably, I probably could kill him. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Big difference. Big, major, big, big difference. All right, new person and their melee. Start off with slow. Look at this. This has to suck. Got the black arrow off. Oh, this is frustrating. I'm just gonna wait for cooldowns. He can come to me. Come on, Leaky. Vampiric touch. All my dots. Hand of freedom. I think we got him. We got him, yes! I didn't know who got the last hit there, but we got him. He played it right. He waited for me. He went behind the pillar and made it really annoying. And then he got on top of me. That's good. He assessed the situation. It just wasn't enough. And that's a good sign. Really good sign. Let's go again. All right. Hybrid. Pally. Dotting. Black arrow. Vampiric touch. Corruption. Sprinting out. LOL. Ooh, she somehow got that holy fire. Amazing, actually. Black arrow. She's gonna die. I actually won that. Wow. I should not have won that. That's amazing. I love you too, Leaky. You see what he said? That's cute. I love it. All right, let's go in for more. Okay, another melee. We're getting people equal gear. It's so good. He's just going gung-ho, I can tell. It's fine. I'm gonna break that. Just keep applying dots. Corruption. I'm gonna go Mind Blast. Yeah, it's fine. Another Mind Blast will do, I think. We can uh, Shadow Burn. He's dead and destroyed too. GG. Okay, a caster this time. Looks to be holy. Vampiric touch. Oh my god, no. Just gonna break that with sprint. Corruption. LOS that. Healing. We're both just healing to full. I slowed her. Uh-oh. Oh, we barely lost that. GG. I almost had her. All right, guys. Let's do some reroll. See if we can get some better stuff. Okay, none of that is even close to worth my time. All right, what's next? What do you have for me, RNG? Really? <laughs> okay. Wow, literally nothing good. Okay, I got three more. Nothing. Maybe the resurrection or the conjure food. Let's try conjure food, uh, but not for any of that. All right, last one. No, no, none of this is good. Why would I want an AoE taunt? Why? Why would I ever want that? Definitely not for any of that, too.
Okay, guys, one thing I want to do real quick is just go over the build that I've started to play at level 60. Uh, basically, it's the same as the one that we had while leveling, so I'll just go over the new things. We have two points in improved Devouring Plague for 10% more Devouring Plague damage, and it instantly heals me for 10% of its total periodic effect when I use it on somebody. We also have Misery. This makes it where Shadow Word Pain, Mind Flay, and Vampiric Touch will give me 3% hit on that target, and Mind Blast, and it also increases the benefit from spell power gained by Mind Blast, Mind Flay, and Vampiric Touch by 25%. Lastly, in the Shadow Priest tree, we have Twisted Fate. This says if a target is afflicted by Shadow Word Pain, they take 9% more damage from Mind Blast and Mind Flay, and each time Shadow Word Pain deals damage, I gain 6% of my base mana. So this is a really good way to gain mana. I could just spread it on everybody and get that mana rolling in while I'm spawning tentacles. For the most part, it's the same as we had before. It's just a pumper. It's a pumper spec. It has a bunch of damage. It's just, you know, you put the Black Arrow up, you do Devouring Plague, Shadow Word Pain, Corruption, Mind Blast them just to get the healing reduction or for the big damage. You know, you can also go for Unstable Affliction if you want to cut those dots, prevent them from being dispelled if the Vampiric Touch maybe is not already dissuading them enough. And then you have the Mind Flay for both a slow and some extra damage if you need to proc the Mind Blast or you just have nothing else to do. And that's not even to mention the Explosive Shop. Really, it's too much. It really is too much. We'll probably have to hone this down at some point, but uh, it's really, really, really strong. And I can just imagine with more gear um, with all the different ways like slow and concussive shot disengage I mean we have so many ways to get away from people and we're inherently mobile because we're a dot class I think it's gonna be very very good later on this spec so I figured one good thing we could do is just see how our damage looks on these elites so I'm gonna start off with the slow I should be able to kite these things basically indefinitely as a result of this. And we'll just see. We could just mind flay, then mind blast, disengage, mind flay. Yeah, pretty easy. Let's try it again. Black arrow. There we go. Get all of the dots on there, right? Explosive shots. Easy. All right, the initiate. This is the one that's actually a caster. Oh, look at the crits. That's good. We can just kill her now. So I'm really liking the build. I think it's very, very strong. I'm curious what you guys think, by the way. Uh, the build certainly took a different turn. I mean, we literally started off with a more agility focused build i thought it was going to be basically more about the explosive shot than anything else oh look at that shadow foot stabber little dagger but it turned out we're full intellect and not only are we full intellect but we are truly we're kind of a shadow priest but we're truly a shadow hunter with the auto shot and all of the dots it's freaking fun i really really enjoy it i mean look at this damage and just imagine it without level 30 to 40 gear on blood forge oh my god did we get something we could use? No, so close though. Of the whale. That's just so bad. We can use spirit, but that's just still really bad. I'm just glad that these guys can actually drop stuff that I can use, right? That's actually like super fun. I'm just solo farming right now. There's a tentacle. MVP. MVP of the whole playthrough, right? What I will say is that while the Shadow Hunter is definitely unique and certainly has a lot of potential, I'm not sure if I like him more than Lorak. I, I probably will try to play him again. Uh, we'll see if maybe we can make him super, super good. I will say I did get a divine storm skill card special knowledge that only those of you that made it this far in the video will know uh, thank you once again if you have uh, but divine storm is a skill card i'm thinking we replace the seal of command and that we actually go for a more spell power based version of the build one that's going to hit really really hard and have a lot more versatility than my current one which is exciting to think about so since this is kind of like a one video special a give back i guess you could say since we have 20 thousand subs uh, i think i can get on laura and i could just have a heart to heart because if you've made it this far in the video you do care to some degree what's going on with the channel so i've been doing five to six videos a week i think come september we're gonna just say four to five videos uh just so i can have higher quality stuff and you know still get it out there incredibly consistently that's what i'm thinking is going to happen because i've noticed by saying six um sometimes if i don't feel like i can put out the best stuff i feel more motivated to just put anything out um, even if it's not fully finished and I don't like that even though you guys probably don't see it as much like that I see it like that because every video to me is like a work of art right it, 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 that's how I feel so I'm always trying to get better and that's what I think is going to be best for me and to give you guys better content as for this guy as for Lorak right um, one thing I'd like to do is just prestige him right now another thing I want to ask though is have you noticed any increase in quality right because I've definitely been trying with that I think it's actually been something that's helped me grow recently so for example not that wow would ever matter for this but my videos are in 4k now you know 1440p that's pretty cool but 
when New World comes out, I should be playing it at the best graphics you can possibly do. And the same thing for the video. So the quality of that's going to go up pretty significantly as well. Let's go ahead and just prestige Lorik, right? Wait, there's multiple instances of Orgrimmar? <laughs> I didn't even know that. I guess they have no choice, right? There's just so many people playing. All right, I'm on my spec one. By the way, I'm keeping my spec three, which has Divine Storm on it already and is an AP version of the build. But what do you guys think of the Shadow Hunter? I really enjoy it, but I think I just enjoy this character more. Uh, I will probably try the, playing the Shadow Hunter again. I will say range classes are just never as fun to me as melee classes. But let me know in the comment section below. What was your favorite between this character and my Shadow Hunter? you know? All right, we prestige. I've also got a bunch of other builds to play, and I think the way my videos are gonna go is I'm gonna have one main, which is this guy that I can do videos on, and then I'll make a bunch of alts all the time, right? A bunch of different alts, and that's gonna be me trying different builds, as opposed to previous seasons where I basically never had a true main because I was always searching for it. This time, I think I've actually found it, so we can kind of do a different pattern to the videos. If you guys like that idea, let me know in the comment section below as well. So at the end of this video, I'm thinking we're basically doing kind of a discussion, um, kind of a heart-to-heart -heart with the viewers type of thing, right? What a stream maybe would have been, and talking about the future as well. So for example, Seal of Command, right? I could get rid of this and just learn uh, Seal of Righteousness right now at level 1, and that's what I think I want to do. And then the next video can be me prestiging this guy with a much better build. You can see the Divine Storm right here. Let me just make sure I'm right. Oh no, the Seal of Command was a golden. Well, that's really bad. I could get rid of the Exorcism because it's a lot more likely for you to get that than it is to get the Divine Storm. And we could just still play a Seal of Command build. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Get rid of the Exorcism. We could end up going with like a completely different like heavy AP version of the build. I'm not really sure yet. I also want to try that Mutilate, right? Mutilate would be really, really cool. Look at this dude roleplay walking. What are you doing, dude? I've also got this character, Swag McGee, and I'm thinking about making this my Mutilate character, and that might actually be what I try next. I've got the backstab rolled, and I'm thinking I could just go ahead and roll for stuff right now while I talk. So, the best part about Mutilate is that it doesn't have a positional requirement like it does in BC. And I was already playing Mutilate Rogue in BC and doing it pretty well. We have the charge now, which is good. Stealth, there we go. Oh, you can't actually start with the Eviscerate. Okay, that's fine. Maybe we can card that. Maybe we just want Heroic Strike to dump Rage. Yeah, why not? Let's just get the extra damage. Okay, so now we have another character we can try and that you can maybe expect in the future as well. A character that starts off using daggers, has the backstab, but eventually pulls the ever so OP Mutilate, which does 135% weapon damage with both weapons, plus an additional 57, and increased 10% damage against poisoned targets. But they did make this different to where it's only 10%. It used to be a lot more, like 30%, I think. So you kind of had no choice but to have poisons. Now you don't have to. It's still really good. We could maybe do Rock Biter. I don't know. Lots of different options, though. I have a Scorch Pyro build as well. So, yeah, there's a bunch of different things that could be coming in the future. So, expect that. I even have this guy, McFlurry, which is literally already prestiged and is my attempt at a Frost Hybrid. So, we have a lot of different things coming in the future. Just on the topic of that, by the way, Ascension is doing a new server uh, called Champions, or no, Conquest of Azeroth. Yeah, uh, Conquest of Azeroth. And that's the custom class server I alluded to, like, a few months ago it was supposed to come out a hell of a lot sooner but they're gonna do an alpha i think this weekend they didn't tell me to advertise it or anything because if they did i wouldn't put it so late in the video but the point is i really do think that's going to be a badass great server to be on i uh, assuming they do it right i can't wait to do some videos on it and so that's even more content and more things to expect for the future and then we also have Craig, which I can guarantee you I'm going to play again. Guys, don't forget that in that last Craig video, we actually picked up the Rattle Cage Buckler and the Silent Fang, both heroic version. And I actually thought to myself, I know you can't switch this to a PvP weapon, but double Silent Fangs? I mean, it looks like you can dual wield them. And these are actually strong as opposed to their non-heroic counterpart. Could be, I mean, it's definitely a meme, but it could be fun. It could be super good and super fun. Somebody should try it. If I get another Silent Fang, I'll definitely think about it. In fact, you know what? For the rest of this video, let's go ahead and just do some more Craig. We're just going to do a normal strat service entrance. Just going for more regular person gear, not pushing my luck in heroics. We should be able to breeze through this pretty easily. Alrighty. Dragon's Breath into the Flame Strike. So good, dude. I'm just going to pull the boss because I can. Because we should destroy this. 
Again, I'm looking for just basically completing this daily right now. It is daily for this version of normal. So I definitely want the rewards from that so I can re-roll some stuff. I still want the fire ward on this guy, obviously. But I could also use other things like shield block, especially shield block, but also possibly the holy shield. These wouldn't be too bad to have. I'm going to prestige this Craig eventually and do a completely new build. And I already have one in mind. But I'd actually like to collect a tome and re-roll on a second spec because I want to keep my fire tank. So I'm going to have to do some PvP on one of my characters, probably my main, but I just prestiged him. So, but we can do BGs while we level, right? So that's actually a lot of free honor. That's actually really smart when you think about it. Your character can easily fund itself this season. I think that's the best part. You really don't need more than one character if you play your cards right. I kind of forgot I was the tank, <laughs> but it's fine. I was like, why is nobody moving? But I was also kind of chill because it didn't really matter that much. I was like, it's late at night. I'm good. But oh, I'm the tank. <laughs> It's all good. I'm trying to get this out for you guys. This one hour special. You know, it's a lot of work to do this stuff. And I'm not complaining because I freaking love it so much. I get to play Craig at 3.30 at night and not feel bad about myself. All right, Consecration. Dragon's Breath. Flame Strike. Pull this guy. Oh, yeah, the big pulls, guys. The absolutely massive pulls. They feel good. Oh, they feel great. I'll we'll pull that Banshee, too. Okay, watch. Disengage backwards. Thunderclap. Consecration. And watch Dragon's Breath, Flame Strike. That's good, guys. That's good. And you know it, too. I'll take that Traveler's Backpack all day, by the way. Oh, almost died there. That would have sucked. Let myself get hit in the back because I was talking about rolling on a backpack. Incorrect, McDoubles. Incorrect. You got this, healer, bro. You are good. All right. I think we're fine. I think we actually made it. Look at the healer's mana. He's fine, too. Nice. Another massive pull. Banshee, get off. Oh, I died. I'm running back. Stupid Banshee. I taunted her already. They're so annoying. I hate the range guys in the back. Got Oh, Flame Surge. Oh, that's not for me, but it sounded like it might be. Lightforge Belt, though, is a pretty nice upgrade. Intellect is always welcome right now with this build. It's also just straight up better. Oh, no. That item had an epic on it, so I've got to get rid of it real quick. So I guess everybody gets an altar in this dungeon. I'm also really enjoying just tanking in general. I'm just going to kill this Banshee basically on its own real quick. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Thunderclap, Dragon's Breath. Oh, yeah. End of the Flame Strike, and now the Consecration. I'll never lose aggro. This healer is great. Simply disengage back into my stuff. Nice. Another Consecration, too. Look at that dude. I think he's using Hellfire. Wait a second. I have Skata. Look at that. We're in seconds. Second for DPS. There we go. Another pretty good pull. And the flame strike combo, first of all, didn't work there, <laughs> which sucks because I was about to say it's so good and you want to use it every time. All right, stone spine. This guy drops some stuff. Okay, the lesser version of my cape. That's fine. Drops a lot more on heroic. Okay, now we're up against the Baroness. Screeching Bow. That's a weird one, but I already have Black Crow, so I need to remember that Righteous Fury, man. I keep thinking it's going to stay when I die, and it doesn't. It hasn't mattered, though. There we go. More massive pulls. It feels so good to do these massive pulls, guys. And I can just so easily chain pull with the uh, Fire Blast and the Taunt. Almost lost me there because of the silence, but we survived. We actually survived it. They really do silence so much here. It's crazy how much. And also, Dire Maul, they CC in a, like a crazy amount on Heroic, man. Like, you're constantly being feared or knocked down. It's actually ridiculous. Ooh, Scarlet Chris... Oh, and Mace of McGowan. Nice. All right, no Rubicon. If I didn't have the weapon I have, this would be a pretty good one. And he's dead. Oh, I almost thought that was for me. Chitinous Plate Leggards. Pretty cool, though. Not quite as good as mine, even though mine are PvP. Another Traveler's Pack. And I won it! That's great. We're getting good bags on Craig. We only need one more 16 slot just to be satisfied. Just chain pulling away. Play ghouls now. There we go. Into the Flame Strike. Revenge. Thunderclap. And we're doing such good damage too. First place damage still. Dwarven hand cannon on normal. All right, there we go. All of our AOE. We pulled massive, dude. And I just keep adding to the pot. Let's add a Banshee. It's probably the worst one to add though. Let's add this Crypt Crawler and this uh, little Screecher. Hit the Flame Strike on the Banshee. And we'll even taunt over this Crypt Crawler. All right, Malaki the Pallid. Maybe he dropped something we can use. Okay, nope. Healer boots and a clever hat. I just realized we never opened the prestigious cache when we actually got Craig to max in his video. So here we go. Barbarous blade is really good. A freaking black rock slicer. Are you kidding? Oh my God. Wow. Okay. The rest of the stuff is not too great, but wow. All right. The venom belcher room, basically. All right. Let's try three. Yeah. We're handling that perfectly fine. 
I'm just going to continuously taunt more inside. Ooh, another Traveler's Backpack. Didn't win that one. That would have been way too lucky. All right, Ramstein the Gorger. There we go. All right, more caster stuff. Soul Stealer Mantle. Cool one. All right, Skelly time. I'm going to pull the black. Oh! <laughs> yeah, dude, seriously. There we go. Look at the numbers. Flame Strike. They oh, 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 yeah. These numbers are... Look at my DPS! <laughs> Oh my god, what the hell is this? I, I just pulled 6k consistent. Oh, it ended at 5. Absurd DPS, absurd. Alright, let's kill Baron Rivendare and get the mount. I've said it every time we've been here, man. We're gonna get the mount eventually. It's gonna happen. I'm actually in first place DPS on this boss. God, more caster crap. But at least we completed the daily, so we could turn this in now and do some rerolls. Okay, reroll number one rampage that's an interesting one you know crit might not be a terrible talent but i don't think any of that stuff's actually worth it maybe the heal because i don't even have one yet yeah but not for any of that tranquility i don't think i'd ever use this but the other two are certainly not worth it but i kind of want to keep all these all right one more try can we get something good on craig immolate that might actually be worth it yeah i'll get rid of conjure food for that maybe we can do something with the immolate we can test it out. There's some good REs we could possibly try. So yeah, I'll definitely take that. That's not too bad. So that was a pretty quick and easy daily. Didn't get much from it, but uh, we made some progress. But okay, guys, let's go ahead and do the giveaway. I've got the link already put in. Let's get the YouTube comments from the last video. I was actually really, really surprised by the amount of views and support on this one. This has barely been out. Not even 24 hours when I'm putting this in. 478 comments. Only a 24-minute long video, too. Uh, okay, let's start and see who wins. Okay, Mechel Lockham which is the same thing backwards, right? Okay, oh man, your vids make me actually want to play WoW again. I just might have to give that server a try. It looks pretty fun. Well, listen, if you do decide to give it a try, I'll go ahead and PM you on YouTube just so you know that you got this. You won, right? So you'll get a chest. That's a really good way to start because you get a Book of Ascension from that chest and it makes everything easy for you. I'm always happy to get new players into the game because I know how much I enjoy the game when I'm new. That's why I love fresh seasons and it feels new again during the fresh season, right? Uh, because, yeah, I know it's such a great feeling. So welcome if you do decide to come. If he never gets back to me, I'll do another roll in another video. We'll do two in that one video and then somebody else will get his chest. And I have another giveaway for you guys. If you want to win your own chest, all you have to do this time is just leave a comment. It doesn't have to be anything specific. It can be anything. That's my gift to you. You don't have to give me something that I want. You can give me something that you want. So yeah. But okay guys, that is my one hour video special. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a like and to subscribe. More content to come all week, but I'll see you guys in the next video. McDoubles out.